last two offensive sequences, uh, what was your take on those possessions? Did you uh, like the shots you got? You know, I'll have to go back and look at the tape, but I think, you know, we had a wide open look in the corner. You know, you had Jalen downhill at the rim, then he comes back and gets another one. You know, I just think, you know, our guy's effort was 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 there. The, the intensity, the fight, the resiliency to go down, to get back up, uh, and just continue that fight is what we're asking of them. And we knew what it was going to be in this environment, a team that just came off of a tough loss last night, so we knew we were going to get their best punch. So for our guys to be able to sustain that is is, is a good sign. Uh, then it's going to always come back down to the details of what we need to do in, in earlier parts of the game. It didn't come down to those last couple shots. It was the it was early in the game that, you know, th- those determined, determining factors. What's your message to Paolo right now? I mean, I know he's playing well in a lot of different ways, but obviously his shooting hasn't quite been uh, up, to, up to par at this particular point. Well, you know, the, the, the great part about Paolo is that he is a winner, and he's trying to find ways to win, whether he's making shots, uh, he's, whether he's helping rebound, whether he's defending. He's doing all the little things in order to put his teammates in the right position to, to be successful. You know, I don't, I don't worry about his shot. Uh, he's doing the right things to try to make winning plays for this team. We talked a lot before the game about limiting fouls, getting Mm -hmm. back in transition. You did a great job defensively, it appears, based on statistics. You also held LeBron to a relatively poor performance. Uh, Just talk about your overall defensive effort. Well, I I loved our physicality. I mean, obviously, there was was some fouls called earlier on, you know, that we held them to 18 free throws, which is, you know, is is a good sign. Uh, Again, it's going to come down to the little things. It's a one possession here, two possession there that changes the game. It's not always about that final shot. It's maybe about possessions earlier in the game that we need to clean up. You get to be right back in action mm-hmm. against the Clippers tomorrow to be able to kind of just kind of wipe this one away and get a fresh start tomorrow. I mean, that's the great part about the league. You tell the guys in the locker room, you know, let it sting for tonight, but we got to bounce right back tomorrow. Uh, what was your take on those uh, last two offensive possessions? Did you feel like you guys got the looks that you wanted? Uh, absolutely. I think we got a, a good chance. Um, we got a shot up, got a chance to get an offensive rebound. Um, got another shot up. So in my opinion, uh, I think we got, you know, great shots, good looks. Um, I have to go back and look at film to, to see more in detail. But in my opinion, I feel like we, we took a good shot and, and, and had a good opportunity. What's your, what's your message to Paolo? Uh, he's obviously playing well in most areas of the game, but it seems like his shooting is still coming along. What's your message to him to give him some more confidence? Just keep playing. Uh, I think he impacts the game in many more ways than just shooting the basketball. And... Um, we got a lot of games, man. I just need him to keep being aggressive, but don't let that dictate everything else. You know, he's a great defender, um, great passer, great playmaker. So um, when his shot's not falling, you know, next shot is good mentality. I, I keep telling him that all the time, you know. Um, keep shooting, the next one's going to be good, but keep keep affecting the game in other ways. And I think uh, that's one thing that he has to continue to lock in on, and not only him, but our whole team. You know, when we don't have shots falling, don't let that dictate our defense. Um, let defense create easy offense for us and, and just keep playing. Even though the outcome didn't go the way you hoped, uh, defensively it seemed like it was another pretty top-notch performance. Uh, what did you like about your team defensively? Just the aggression, man. I think we, we brought the first punch to them. Um, they went on run. We, we answered it. Um, we just stayed the course. Uh, although we didn't come out with the win, I think we continued to fight. We did the right things. Um, and that's all you can ask for, you know. Uh, just go out there and compete. Uh, stay even killed. You know, no ups through the ups and downs of the runs, and just come out and give our best. And I think we did a good job of that. Obviously, we're gonna have to go back and look at film and see, you know, the, the small mistakes that we made to improve on. But uh, I think we're, we're we're wanting to compete. We're wanting to go out there from the from the start to finish and, and continue to play. And we all believe that we can win. So um, that's all we can do. I know you take pride in your defense. Obviously, you've shown to be a good defensive team. When shots aren't falling, uh, can it affect you mentally at all as a group defensively, or are you guys always able to kind of stick through it and stay focused on the defensive side? Of the um, I think it can if you let it if it let it get to you. But you know we do a good job of talking to each other and not letting our offense dictate our defense. You know we we believe we're a top five defensive team, and we all hold each other accountable to that. So um, every game we we hold our hats on the defense end, no matter what's going on the offense end. And when we play defense, we get easy ones, and we know we're talented enough and, and putting in enough work to make shots on the other end. So, again, we, we try not to let our offense dictate our defense, but let our defense be something that we hold our hats on every night.
And then real quick, just talking about the second unit coming and stepping up. I mean, Gary had a good night. Yeah. Cole, again, had a good night. But just what it did for the momentum of you guys being able to see them step up and help you out in a big way. That was huge. Um, like a, We got a big belief from 1 to 15. You know, all our guys are very talented. We believe in the work that we put in. And when those guys step on the court, you know, we, we don't see no drop-off. We see the same or even better. And um, they showed us tonight. You know, G, like you said, G came in, Cole, Mo. They all go in and, and make a big impact on the game when we need those some nights. You know, some nights we're going to have the starters going. Some nights we might not be going, but to have a bench that can come in and, and, and leave where we just left off or even do better is huge for us. So, um, again, a big, big kudos to those guys, but they put in a lot of work for that. They're ready for the moment, and we believe whoever's on the corner at the moment is going to be good enough to go out there and play. Thanks, Cal. Yep.